Hey everybody, welcome to another, another edition of MagicReview.com. Uh, I, I just posted a video, I, depending on when you watch this obviously, uh, but it's a video for Book Week, or it might end up being Book Month because I had so many of them I didn't realize how many I had. Uh, but it, basically I showed you um, my whole stack of books and asked you what you wanted me to review first. So I haven't even posted the video yet while I'm recording this. So by the time I, you get around to watching this, the video will be posted. And hopefully there'll be some responses. Uh, anyway, in that video, there was a short clip, maybe five minutes, of you me showing you around my little office here and showing you all my stacks of videos and stuff that I've got for review. And one of the things you saw was I called it the oddball pile, I think. It's just a stack of stuff that is in oddly shaped cases, like not regular DVD cases, things like this. So this looks like a CD case, not in the shape of your traditional DVD case. And so on my shelf where I have all my DVDs stacked, these are just like an oddball ball pile there and I want to get rid of them. So when I, and I, by get rid of them, I mean I want to review them so I can put them away because that shelf is just my pile of stuff I haven't reviewed yet. So I'm going to, like my book week or book month, we're going to do an I don't want to call it the oddball week because I don't want it to, to sound like the products are oddballs, but we're going to call it the, the odd something week, whatever it is. I'll come up with a clever title sometime in the future. But I'm going to show you the stuff. Some of it I've had for a while. Some of it's pretty new. Um, so I'm going to just show you the items and you tell me what you want me to review first. And I will try to get to those first. Who knows when this uh, oddball week will be uh, or weeks. I, I'm probably going to do the book week first. And then we'll do the oddball week next. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it the other way around. Who knows? But uh, the odds are it's going to be probably two weeks worth of reviews for the books and probably two weeks worth of reviews for the oddball things. Anyway, go back and watch that clip if you want to see the weird stack of stuff and, and the little quick tour of my office. It starts about uh, 45 seconds to a minute into that clip, uh, into that video, I should say. Anyway, so here we go. <clears throat> a Study in Secrets presents... Three Secrets by, I don't know, I had this problem on the unboxing. Anyway, it's a Vanishing Ink product. I'm just going to quickly blaze through these. You tell me what you want me to review. So, Three Secrets. Uh, the Wallet Transformer by Cameron Francis. <clears throat> the um, Spontaneous Combustion by Gra Grinnell, 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 something. It's a weird shaped box. Uh, this is uh, DVDs 1, 2, and 3, False Shuffles and Cuts. Um, let's see, this is the Carl Hine collection, and they're all, I guess, False Shuffles and Cuts. Volume 1. Oh. Well, look at that. I didn't even notice this in the unboxing. They gave me two vo Volume 1s and one Volume 2. So I don't know if there's supposed to be three volumes, and I'm missing Volume 3, or if there's only two volumes and I got an extra Volume 1. Either way, that's an extra volume one. So, guess what? It goes to somebody watching. This is uh, the extra one. I always give away my extras. Now, that's assuming I give it a four and a half star or better. If I don't, then I'm not giving it away because why am I giving away the crap? I'm only giving you the good stuff. Anyway, that's an extra. Maybe somebody gets it. So, anyway, if you want me to review those, volume one, volume two, let me know. The Nut Dropper. I think this is a... Um, ring and nut thing or, or a object to nut trick and it's got a couple DVDs in there so let me know if you want me to review that uh, we've got E2 by Rob Bromley and Peter Nardi this is um, what was this I think it's a version of an update of the the extractor like a better version of it I think is what that is then we got reconnect reconnect by uh, Marcus Eddy I believe doesn't say on here. Yeah, Marcus Eddy. Um, and I've actually watched this, and it is pretty good. Uh, so this will probably get a decent rating. So if you want the full review, let me know. I'll get that up there. We got the the we got profiles, a social mentalism routine by World Magic Shop. It doesn't say if it's a specific. I guess uh, Sean Hayden and Mark Shortland. I don't know if they created, but they're the guys on the video. Uh, then we've got Patrick Redford, the Ninja Tossed Out Deck System. Uh, again, it's coming in a CD case here. <clears throat> if you want me to review that, let me know. 
The Last Prediction by Nell X from and Big Blind Media. The Magic Circles Lecture. Uh, I did watch this. Um, it's, it's iffy. Uh, there's some good stuff in it, but it's a little hard to watch. Uh, but if you want a full detailed review on that, let me know. This is one that I have not, these two actually are ones that I have not been asked to review. I bought them both. Uh, I bought this one. Uh, Chad Long presents Scratch, and I can already tell you it's a great product because um, I've used this one's been not open, but uh, I've used the other one. Uh, my friend Brad Gordon had one. He had it. He used it. I liked it, and so I decided to buy one myself. So if you want a full review on that, though, let me know. And then we got Bruised here, and this I just bought from a friend of mine here at our club, um, and I think it's a tattoo kind of a thing. Yeah, so you can, looks like there's pictures of bruises that you can make that you rub onto your arm. And the effect is that you bruise your arm and it appears their selected card or whatever. So I haven't tested those, so I don't know if it's any good. If you'd like a review of that, this is just one I bought. It's not one that has to be, that, you know, most of the stuff I have to review it. It was given to me by Murphy's and that's part of the deal. I got to review it. But that one's not one. Uh, then we have uh, Mark Southworth's the box and I don't know what's in this uh, I never have opened it yet from when I did the unboxing that had this in it so that's the stack of weird uh, you know weird shaped misshapen stuff that uh, we'll be getting to one of these days I'm not sure when um, so let me know what you want me to review first put a comment in the description below let's move on to the random song of the moment very cool this is stairway to heaven but it's not by Zeppelin, it's by Scott D. Davis. He comes up a lot on the Random iTunes song. He's a guy that's a hard rocker at heart that uh, was sort of forced to take piano lessons as a kid, and he figured out a way to meld his hard rock and his piano work. Um, go to his website, I think it's just scottdavis.com, whatever it is, I'll put a link in the description, and you can read his little biography, it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, Stairway to Heaven on the Piano is a beautiful piece. It's, that's another one of these songs that I've got probably 20 different versions of. I've got the Dolly Parton version. I've got orchestra. No, uh, I do have a Spanish guitar version, not orchestra. Um, piano, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. There's a really cool jazz rendition. I've got a jazz piano one by, I um, can't remember the dude's name, Stanley Jordan. Really, really cool jazz version. Anyway, Stairway to Heaven. Live it and love it and listen to it and check out Scott's link below. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace and out.